Hello mermaids, it's Seraphina and I hope you're having a wonderful, fantastic Thursday. I know it's Thursday. I have tried not to post on Thursdays. I try to post on Wednesdays. I mean Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But today's Thursday and I just felt like recording. So earlier I made a get ready with me for this palette and my phone ran out of storage so I try to do it as quick as I can. And I just decided I'm going to start trying to make videos on the laptop. So I'm using the laptop on my desk. It's very awkwardly placed. But we're making it work with like books and nail polish holding it up so that it's like as level as it can be. So you see a little bit of my white walls in the background. But this is the palette that I just did a video with. And this is the Rude Cosmetics Murph Fantasia. It's makeup with an attitude. It's a 35 um, pressed pigment shadow palette. And it's their best selling fantasy novel. Now I really like this. I got this for Mother's Day. And I love her rainbow tail. She has a butt on her too <laughs> and a tramp stamp. But I love this palette. I got it for Mother's Day for my fiance. He got this for me. It's book eight in their series and you can turn it around if you want to. I don't like to do my palettes like that, but you can. So this is the inside cover. It says all the chapters on it. So you have Altered Reality on page four, Floating Castle City on page 28, A Taste of Fantasy on page 53, Making a Splash on page 79, and Fantasies Become Reality on page 90 by Rude Cosmetics. Published by Rude Cosmetics Incorporated. And these are very lovely colors. The camera does not do them justice at all. They're beautiful, shimmery shades. A lot of shimmers. There are mattes. There are no pressed glitters, but there are shimmers. And I love shimmers. They're my favorite. So I picked all shimmers for the look I'm doing, which I ran out of space on doing that Get Ready With Me. But I will tell you the colors that I used. I... I actually, I'll give you a secret first. I'll put it around in a C on the outside, a little C, and then fill in the C, and then it has like the purple and the red, and um, blend them together. Blend the colors together. If you want, you don't have to. You can kind of put them on top of each other without blending. So, let me get a little closer here. I used this shimmery red right here on this eye, and then I went toward the center and went to this shimmery orange. And the inner corner has the shimmer white, I mean shimmer yellow. I didn't use the white. I was planning on using the white on the inner corner and on the bottom, which is this one, but I didn't get to it. But it is swatched on my arm, if you can see that. So on the other eye, I started with the outside, which is this light purple, very, very pretty purple, like a lavender almost. And I also used this very light blue. This blue is really light as well. And below it is like a sea green, um, sea green like turquoise I love it. teal teal is the word I'm looking for but I used this one so I went from purple to light blue to light green and I used these colors so they're very pretty I'm very impressed by it whoa I don't want to drop it it's a big big book so I used all of these colors there's the swatches there and let me show you what other makeup is on my face and this is like the first three minutes of this but then we're going to do, what are we going to do today? Should I do empties? <laughs> oh my gosh, should I do empties? <laughs> I think I might. I do have an Ipsy unboxing to get to. So I think we'll do empties in this video and then we'll do uh, an Ipsy unbagging. So on my face, I am wearing, I started out with moisturizer and I was telling you guys about this in the last video and then it cut off on me. <laughs> Um, I, could, I didn't even have enough time to do the makeup look. I wish it would tell me how much time I had. So, first thing on my face, I'm wearing the Yensa Pink Lotus Peptide Renewal Face Cream, and it's an eight power pink essence moisturizer. I love this stuff so much. I got this in, in an Ipsy uh, mystery bag, like a Ipsy Glam Bag Plus mi mystery bag. So this is 1.7 fluid ounces or 15 milliliters. Love it. I use it as moisturizer practically every day. For my body, for like my arms and legs, I'm using the Cake Heavy Cream Intensely Smoothing Body Butter Balm, and it's one ounce. It definitely smells like cake batter or a milk, like a milky. It's very thick, very creamy, hard to spread. Uh, the Yensa is really easy to spread, but the cake is hard to spread. I love Skylar. I just finished up a Skylar lotion. So up next on my 
face, we are using, I started with the Revlon Photo Ready Concealer Corrector, which I love this stuff. I have a full container here. So this is in Fair. This is definitely a staple in my collection. And then I went to, I used my eye primer next is what I went for. The Beauty Crop Stuck On You Eye Primer, which is in, does it have a color? No, it doesn't have a color. It's just like a skin tone for white girls. So I don't know if they make a, another skin, other skin tones besides this one. I don't think they do because it's just to put your eyeshadow on it. It's like a base. So up next, I use the Maybelline Dream BB Fresh Skin Hydrating Beauty Balm. And this is like a foundation. It's in 100 Light Sheer Tint, and it has SPF 30 in it. So I really like this. My mom is the person who recommended this to me because she loves this stuff. It doesn't do a lot of coverage. It has very light coverage, but it's over natural skin, which if you're into that kind of thing, it, it works. But I have some scars to cover up, so I have to kind of do a couple different things. So after that, I use the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder, and it's in 001 Transparent. Love this stuff. One of my go-tos. The plastic breaks around the edges, so it has tape on it. But the powder itself is good. The packaging, I think, needs work. I used my Serafina Delirium Cosmetics Unicorn Brush for powder. And then I put highlighter on. I put that on first. So I'm wearing the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Blush Lighter in I Met Someone. And for that one, I'm using this one. I'm using the SL Miss Glam brush from the Rainbow Luxe Collection. And this is the Precise Eye 05 brush, but I used it to put my highlighter on over top of my blush, which I should have read to you first. So for my blush, I'm using the Milani Rose Powder Blush in 05 Coral Cove, one of my absolute favorites. I have two other blushes. I think Blossom Time Rose and Tea Rose. I haven't even opened them yet. I am still on my Rose Powder Blush. It is going strong. It is beautiful. I need to try the other ones, but I hate to open them <laughs> without, like, you know what I mean? Because makeup creeps slowly toward its expiration date when you start, like, when you open it. So I put that on with the Glamour Dolls and Lisa Frank blush brush. It's a unicorn brush. I love it. And then for mascara, I am using the Essence Lash Princess. It's Ariel False Lash Effect Waterproof, and it's, it's really waterproof. We went to, like, a beach complex at Dallas State Park, which is our wedding venue. We went there, and... <laughs> My makeup, I had a full face of makeup on, and we were splashing each other in plain, and it did not come off. This did not run. It is waterproof, so it is good stuff. And I'm not wearing anything on my lips, but I am wearing something on my hair that I do want to recommend really quick. This is the Urban Hybr Hydration Jamaican Castor Oil Detangle and Style Spray. It's amazing. I have frizzed out the wazoo, and this really helps me. I think I'm down to... I'm down to here now. I'm using it up. I'm down to here. So this is really good. It's 6.8 fluid ounces. I got this in the Dollar General Days of Beauty Box. Amazing stuff. So I'm going to put some lip gloss on, some liquid lipstick on, and then we're going to do a quick little empties video. <laughs> You've been here like eight minutes and some change. Alrighty. I know you're getting impatient. You're like, let's do that empties video already. Okay. And that is how a Serafina do. Alright. <laughs> like Zafrank. You guys ever heard of Zafrank? That is how a Serafina do. So this is Jure Cosmetics. It's a liquid lipstick in rose gold. And it's like a mini. I think it's like two ounces. Yeah. No. Yeah, two milliliters. My bad. Two milliliters. It's a tiny little bottle. So it is windowing a little bit. And I'm just trying to use it. It's like windowed that much in there if you can see that. I hope you can. I hope this video turns out okay. Whoa. And so let's get into some empties. So we have Amy the Togi Doki Mermacorno to help us, even though she usually helps me with get ready with me videos. This is kind of a get ready with me. I just showed you all my makeup all over again and what I was wearing on my face. So let's get into this empties video. Now the fortune cookie for the last video was um, education is the ability to meet life situations. And the numbers on the back are 55, 
22, 54, 46, 4, and 32. Those are our lucky numbers. I hope they're lucky for you guys. Now, for our empties, which is all nail polishes in my little Hello Kitty bin, we have a bunch of stuff in here that I didn't get to in my last empties video. So I don't even know what number this is. I think this is empties number 26. And then in 2023, we'll start all over again on our empties. We'll start number one all over again. So for our empties video right now, it is this fortune cookie. Every action has a counteraction. Just depends whether you can see it or not. Now the lucky numbers are 34, 10, 17, 8, 22, that number again, and three, and three, okay. So, empties, who's ready? We have Sebastian, our little poppet lobster. Isn't he adorable? He's my little mermaid poppet. And we have a whole bucket here. We ran out of storage space on my phone, of course, go figure. So I was talking about, the last thing I was talking about, I had two perfumes. I had S.A. Lauder Modern Muse, a mini, and then I had, after that, because I talked about that one, after that I had the Skulls and Roses by Ed Hardy. So it ran out of storage space when I was talking about this one. Now this has a little bit of perfume in the bottom, but I just can't get it out. <clears throat> Can I? It's a pain in the butt. Like, I'm, I'm spraying it. I have to make sure it's like right in the center. I know that's way too much perfume. <laughs> and it's definitely like a, a fruity synthetic watermelon or even a strawberry, like a synthetic watermelon strawberry scent. There's just a tiny amount in there. I can use that up like in five minutes. Um, but this is Ed Hardy Skulls and Roses. I had the bigger one, which is shaped like a skull and like the top of the skull would pop up but I sold it on eBay. I didn't need that much perfume. I like the little bottles the best. One, they're more economical, and two, you don't need that much perfume. If you get tired of it, you can go to something else. Um, you can use them up faster, and I just feel more productive that way when I'm able to use stuff up in its smaller packaging. And this is 0.25 fluid ounces, so definitely a fruity, synthetic watermelon or strawberry. I love this, I love it. The skull does pop off, though. Um, like, if you're trying to pick it up, you don't pick it up from the skull because the skull will just come right off. You just be like, boop, and then you're like, oh my gosh, where'd my perfume go? I lost it or I, or I dropped it. So next up we have this. I just used this up. Like I was telling you guys earlier, this is the Skylar Hydrating Body Lotion in Capri. It's a sparkling citrus sweet scent. Um, it's one fluid ounces or 30 milliliters. I loved this. I love Skylar. It's one of my favorite brands for perfume. And when I got this in one of my last Ipsy bags, I think it was an add-on. I paid three bucks for this. I am so happy with it. I got this and I got the cake. I know what it was. This was a lot of two. Um, it was a $5 um, set. So this one I'm using now. And this one I just used up. And this is so nice. It's, it's a fruity scent. Yeah, it's definitely a fruity, I don't know what you'd call that, but I love it. I love it. It's just like grapes or, again, strawberries. I like the fruity stuff better than the cake scent. I don't know what it is, but I don't want to smell like dessert. I would rather smell like fruit. Is that weird? <laughs> People have their preferences. Now, up next in our MDs, I just cut this out of a notebook because I was throwing it in the recycle. I didn't need it anymore. But I kept this because it was a sticker that I put on right before we lost our tuxedo cat, Xavier. His name was Xavier Crayola Alexander and my second oldest son. He's my third child out of four, but he's my second oldest son and his name is Alexander Xavier. Isn't that cute? So we didn't even know what we were naming him. We were naming him after the cat. Brian picked the name, but I had already named the cat Xavier and he was so sweet and we lost him last year or the year before. I can't remember. I'll have to check his headstone. We miss him so much. So this sticker, I saved it for him as a memorial and it says cats rule. Any questions? So it has the notebook on the back and I just had to keep it. So I will put that somewhere special. I'll probably put it on my wall of cats. I have a wall of cats in the kitchen. It's like puzzles and pictures and the cats collars and things like that. It's like a wall of fame and Xavier is on it and I'll put that with his collar. All right, let's get into nail polishes. You've been waiting very patiently. We have like a Hello Kitty 
bin right here. I, I didn't use this for anything. I didn't really need it. It was just kind of sitting. It's like the only Hello Kitty thing I kept that I didn't give to my daughter Amy. So we had dropped off a whole bunch of Hello Kitty stuff from when I was like pregnant with her, which was forever ago. So hopefully she has that. Hopefully she has it. You know, so this is the last thing I didn't give to her. I've had this for a long time. So I had nail polishes in it for my empties. And I will mark on the nail polishes or whatever, like lotions and stuff. I'll mark on them with this Sharpie metallic silver marker. I've had this for a while, but this is now empty. This is empty. I recommend these for writing on products that you're panning, like lotions and nail polishes. So this is empty now, and I did get a new one. I don't know where I put the new one. It's over on my bed. I think I moved everything to my bed so I could put the computer on my desk, but I used that up. And along with our lobster, we have our boy. We found this at Dow that stopped out at State Park. I cannot talk. We found this last time we went. It's a buoy for fishing. Came from the fishing pier. Now let's see here. First nail polishes we have. I have I have a total of seven here. Seven is my lucky number. So I have seven nail polishes and put everything back in there. I have seven nail polishes. Now the first one we're gonna get to is this one because it's been sitting here for a long time. This is the paparazzi nail polish and going for gold. And I already threw away Hit the Gold Mine because it was lower than this and it had dried up. Hit the Gold Mine is more of a matte version of this and this is the shimmer version. And they go really well together. No, no, no. Hit the Gold Mine is a sparkle. It's not a matte, it's a sparkle. It goes over it kind of like this. This is empty. This is Cocktail by LA Colors. But anyway, Hit the Gold Mine, I already, already threw that bottle away. But this is Hit <laughs> this is going for gold and they went together as a set they were five dollars they are cvs beauty brand basically because paparazzi isn't really their own brand they're from cvs so i really loved this i think i got this in 2014 and it's just dried up this is what happens when you don't use your nail polishes up in a timely manner in the first few years that you get them because they will just dry up it will just dry up and it'll be wasted that's like almost half a bottle wasted just like this one this is paparazzi icing on the cake which is what i smell like right now is cake because i use the cake beauty lotion so icing on the cake by paparazzi this is a white and what happened here is there's only half half in there but half in there and it is gone the other one is too dried up to even open it but this one is like elmer's glue and it just doesn't work anymore so i went ahead and put it in the empties declutters because I'm just gonna throw this away it's just not good consistency I have a new nail polish to replace it which is the Sally Hansen insta dry in 113 white on time so I'll replace it with this but this is gone we're gonna get rid of it next up we have the LA colors color last top coat and this was terrible consistency it I just got so tired of it it's down to here and I just got it this year 2022 those paparazzis are from like 2014 to 2016, but this I got in 2022, and I just, it's terrible. It doesn't work right. Um, I decided to just declutter it. I'm not getting anything from LA Colors that's this, this, um, what do you, what do you call it? I want to say group or club collection. Um, the Color Last. I don't recommend the color last. It's just not very good. But this is in crystal top coat. So I just decided to declutter it and get rid of it. it these nail polish also have to go in the trash because they don't recycle them at the recycle center, which is kind of frustrating. But I am keeping the skull perfume bottle. So that's one thing I can keep. Now next up we have the LA Colors Color Craze nail polish in 542 cocktail and this was really good I love the color craze which is kind of funny because the color last is not very good but the color craze is good so this is just a glitter like a top coat glitter which is which is what the other paparazzi one was that matched the match this one um this is just a top coat glitter it's a 542 cocktail and I love this you can see I use it up to the very bottom it's down to here now to the point where I can't get any more out. So it, it can go now. Like I could almost throw that in the recycling, but I know they won't recycle it even if I threw it in there with the glass. All right, so then I have this one and it's just too old to use anymore. 
Um, it just doesn't have a good consistency. Now the color is beautiful. It's like this bright pumpkin, like almost a reddish orange, but it's bright, bright orange, like reddish pumpkin orange. Um, this is in 67 Juicy Glow and it's by Milani, but I got this in before 2008. Like this is old, like 2004 to 2006 old. I have a pink one, which I, I think it's number one hottest pink is what that one is. It's 11 number one hottest pink, that's what it is. And it's still good. It's as good as the day that I got it. But this one, the consistency is just like not good anymore. So it needs to go. And then I have two more nail polishes. First one first. I use this one almost to the bottom. This is a Wet n Wild Wild Shine nail color, and it's down to here. It looks like a shark fin. I tried to use it up. I really did. I tried so hard, and I just got so sick of it. So it's down to the bottom. This is in Putting on Airs. It did not want to dry. Um, it would stick to everything. My nails would get on something. It would just wipe it right off. It would look terrible. You would have to sit there for like three or four hours and wait for this to dry. Unless you have like a you know, lamp that dries your nails. I don't recommend the Wild Shine collection by Wet n Wild. I just don't. This is the only one that I got from them, putting on airs, because it was blue, it's like a shark fin, but it just, I just didn't like it. It was, just wasn't really quality to that, but I do love Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild's amazing, but just that collection wasn't. At least that nail polish wasn't, because like the Milani, this was really good, but then again, this is really old. Um, anyways, so next we have the Salon Perfect. It's a nail polish, neon pop nail polish, and this is in 527 Back to Fuchsia. Now, I got this as a set. I think there was a purple one or a blue one, and I put it back in the Arts and Crafts because these will just peel right off of your fingernail. They don't stay on. Another bad quality nail polish. I'm going to start getting OPI now, and LA Colors Color Craze is a winner. And I love um, OPI and paparazzi, but the, the Salon Perfect brand is terrible. Like everything I've ever got from Salon Perfect does not last, does not stay on. So we use this for crafts. I've used this for crafts with the kids. And um, now it's empty enough to just throw it away because I'm sick of it. So yeah, back to fuchsia, like back to the future. And that's it for my empties. I have some random stuff for other empties videos, but that's not relevant right now. So thank you for watching 23 minutes of my video and hopefully I can get this to post. So I'll see you in the next video. Thank you ladies so much. Have a good day.